Welcome to this video. Today, you're going to learn the difference between worth and worthwhile. This is a question that a student had submitted and both of these are going to be really great additions to your vocabulary. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you feel confident speaking English in public so you can take your career and your life to the next level. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about worth and worthwhile. Both of these are adjectives and they can be used interchangeably. So in the first example I give you with worth, you can put in worthwhile in all of those examples and it will have the same meaning. So our sentence structure for worth is to be worth doing something. So notice, worth is not a verb, it's an adjective. Our verb is to be, to be worth and notice I have doing something. Why is that? Because doing, it lets you know that when you use a verb, it's going to be a gerund verb. So this is a gerund expression. That's very important to know. And what does this mean? It simply means that it's useful or important enough to do it. So the advantages are more than the time, the cost, the energy to do that activity. For example, I could ask a question and I could ask, do you think it's worth attending the conference? Hmm. Do you think it's worth, it is, it's, do you think it's worth attending the conference? So notice my verb attend is in the gerund form attending because this is a gerund expression. Do you think it's worth attending the conference? Now as a reply, let's just imagine my reply, I'm going to repeat the full sentence, okay? And I could say, yes, it is, it's, it's worth attending the conference. Now the more common thing to do in this situation is to replace the action with it, okay? Because it's obvious based on context and it sounds very repetitive to repeat it again. So instead of that, I can say, yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it. So that's probably what you're used to hearing. It's worth it. It's not worth it. It's a verb to be expression. So to make it negative, I simply use not. It's not worth it. It's worth it. We use it because whatever it is has already been identified or it's obvious based on context. That's why you're probably not common hearing it with the gerund form. But when you want to use the verb, it has to be in the gerund. It's not worth attending the conference. Now, remember that I said in this specific case, worth and worthwhile can just be used interchangeably. So it would be, the sentence structure would be to be worthwhile doing something. It's still a verb to be expression. So I might ask you, do you think it's worthwhile flying first class? Because it's a lot more expensive to fly first class. Do you think it's worthwhile flying first class? Worthwhile and then our gerund, flying. And then my reply would be, absolutely, it's worth it. Because flying first class is awesome. Why wouldn't you do it? It's totally worth it. Now notice in my reply, I didn't use worthwhile. I used worth it. That's because when we use it, I can't say it's worthwhile it. I can't say that. I can say it's worthwhile and end my sentence or I can say it's worth it. So let's review that again and I'll do two different replies. Do you think it's worthwhile flying first class? And then using worthwhile as the reply, I can say yes, it's worthwhile. Yes, it's worthwhile flying first class. Or I can say yeah, it's worth it. Now notice in this case, I have to use it. I can't just say it's worth. I can't do that. 
I have to identify the something, I have to include the it. It's worth it. It's worth flying first class. So the sentence structure is a little bit different, but the meaning is exactly the same. And when you have the full verb form and you're using the gerund verb, it's exactly the same. Now there's one final structure that we use with worthwhile that we don't use with worth, okay? So this last structure is only with worthwhile. And that structure is to be a, our article, to be a worthwhile, and then we need a noun. So let me give you an example. That was a worthwhile program. That was a worthwhile program. Notice, a program, that's my noun, a program, and then I'm just using worthwhile to describe what type of program it was. That was a worthwhile program. I can't say that was a worth program. I can't see that. So I can say that was a worthwhile program. But if I want to change the sentence structure a little bit, I can. And I could say that program was worthwhile or that program was worth it. Worth it. Remember, with worth, I need it. But with worthwhile, I don't use it. So we have all three of those. That was a worthwhile program. That program was worthwhile. That program was worth it. Meaning is the same. It's just getting comfortable with the different sentence structures. So now it's your turn to practice. I want you to leave three examples in the comments. One with worth, one with worthwhile, and one with a worthwhile noun. Practice all those in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. And until next time, happy studying. All right, awesome job. You're sounding really advanced using these expressions. Very advanced expressions. Get comfortable with that sentence structure, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.